In this video, we are going to take a look and see if a 36 volt solar panel at 300 watts can be used with a 12 volt battery using this charge controller. You can see it's 12, 24 volts, 50 amps. So let's go and see what happened if we try to use a 36 volt, 300 watt solar panel on a 12 volt battery. Just finished installing that 300 watt, 36 volt solar panel on the roof with this 12 volt, 50 amp charge controller. And you could see the panel amp is only 0.4. Now let's take a look at a charge controller that is connected to a 300 watt 12 volt panel and compare the difference. So we see there it's 0.4 amps. Let's take a look at our 300 watt 12 volt panel connected to a 24 Connected to a 12, 24 volt charge controller, we can see it's at 2.8 amps already. So in comparison, the 36 volt panel is losing almost 2 amps compared to the 12 volt panel. When we look at the 36 volt panel, we will see it's at 12.3 volts, which is connected to the same battery. It's at 0.4 amp. That is terrible. When we look at the 12 volt panel, 300 watts, we can see it's at 2.9 volts. So a 36 volt, 300 watt panel is not good for a 12 volt system extremely inefficient and not good for using you're better off getting a 32 volt 36 volt charge controller and connecting it to the battery as 36 volt so this video just lets you know that you cannot use a 36 volt solar panel 300 watt with a 12 volt 250 amp gel battery it's impossible let's take another look at the charge controller this is the 24 volt 300 watts we can see it's now charging at 11 amps when we go up and take a look at the 36 volt charge controller it's sharing the same volt as the 12 volt charge controller. We could see this is only reading 0.6 amp. So we're losing almost 10.2 amp. Now the sun is down. So the amp drop off to 5.4 on the 12 volt panel. Let's take a look at it on the 36 volt panel. And it's, it don't change. So a 36 volt charge controller, a 36 volt solar panel will not work with a 12 volt charge controller. And those are all pulse width modulator charge controller. Maybe you could try a MPPT or MTTP charger. You see it's still at 0.6 amp, it does not change. And here we have 11.8 amp. 